quick rant video on 5G. Ah, uh, stuck off the top of my head. Um, I mean, you've heard a lot, you hear a lot of anecdotes, people reporting, like the firefighters that had a cell phone tower, 5G tower, installed, you know, basically right by their you know, home base, and a lot of people, men, women, firefighters, ended up vomiting, uh, <laughs> having blood coming out of their orifices, and all this crap. You know, you see, you look at independent scientists, researchers, people that study the physics and understand the microbiology effect of, you know, this energy, you know, high intensity energy, it damages your mitochondria, it damages your cell structure, and what you're seeing. You know, especially young kids, you know, huge spikes in uh, cranial tumors and cancers and growths, different kind of growths, different names for these things. Uh, you know, I can't, you know, call it off the top of my head, but uh, <laughs> how can you not blame, especially if it's right here and the kid always puts it up to their ear are these women that are, are men that are constantly have it up to their head right up to their head and it's not just heating up your, your tissues near your brain uh, it's causing serious damage like I said to the cellular structure of you know the cells around that area and it's funny in a sick way yeah it's around that ear lobe area in the back, you know, right here, um, it's unmistakable at this point to say cell phones are, you know, they're safe, totally safe. That's the propaganda mouthpiece of, of the government because they want everybody to have this crap on them 24-7, on their leg, near their testicles, you know, wiping out their sperm, <laughs> sperm counts. That's a big contributor to, you know, the decline of male sperm counts. It's not just the, you know, stuff that gets put in our arms, all the toxins, the plasticizers, chemicals, heavy metals. It's the cell phone radiation, absolutely. And then you've got smart meters. Now, a lot of this really comes down to the government. It's control. Smart meters. They want to control you. It's not about saving you money. They can go back to analog. They want to really fine tune and screw you and shut off your, you know, electrical supply. <laughs> if they don't like something you say or something you do or you're protesting, that's the way they can shut you off, right? Shut off your gas, etc. you name it. Um, same thing with the cell phones. They want, they absolutely want, there's a vested interest to have the population you know, they don't want to tarnish the idea of a cell phone being very bad for your health. They're never going to tout that. They're never going to bring up these independent studies. You know, people can keep putting it in these government officials, these paid off bureaucrat turds. They're just sellouts. Because top to bottom, the government wants the people to be tracked and traced 24 seven. They want to see what you're doing. They want to sell your data to the highest bidder. And it's a way to keep track of the cattle. So, that's my rant on that. But, you know, and the health effects, it's undeniable. You've got these kids that grow up, you know. You know, I'm lucky I'm kind of a millennial where, you know, I had a degree of, you know, time in my youth where I didn't have a cell phone you know, constantly in my in my possession. Kids now and tablets and cell phones, they're right up to it, and uh, they're swiping when there's not a phone there. It's really screwing with the hardwiring of their brain. And a lot of people, especially now, you, you combine porn and everything else combined with that. Uh, this instant gratification 
uh, these apps and all this pinging and notifications and bullying and all the other psychological crap that's involved with all this, you know, echo chamber, you know, uh, media spaces, these fake, uh, you know, constructed spaces, these websites and apps that, you know, people get lost into. This is the matrix, basically, really. Next step, you know, they're, they're the social planners, they're going to roll out, and they already are rolling out the Neuralink, you know, Elon Musk technology, to get into your brain, get into, actually get into your body. They don't just want it to be on your body to scan the QR code, to buy and sell at Walmart, or to get in, or to open these stupid things that they lock up well, for loss prevention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know it's about the beast system be able to shut people off to what you can buy and sell. So that's also tied into all this cell phone 5G crap. And, you know, 6G, 7G. It's not going to stop at 5G. You know, you've got all these hidden towers everywhere that are, you know, camouflaged like, you know, to look like trees and everything else. A lot of people are making a fuss about it. And they, some people are shutting these cell phone towers down uh, just by making a fuss in the, their city council. Uh, but for how long can people stave this off in their small town or their city, uh, you know, or near their home? God forbid somebody builds one of these things next to your house. That's a massive health hazard. Uh, well, I will post the links in, in, in the description. You know, this is serious stuff. Just like, you know, during the, uh, you know, Victorian times, they used lead paint and crap for, for beauty products, and they put this crap on the walls, arsenic, and for wallpaper and all this crap. That was considered safe. And doctors used to smoke, you know, a pack of camels, and they said, oh, it's great. Well, same thing with 5G. Mark my words. 5G and all these technologies, it's the new, you know, Smoking, it's right up there, in my, in my opinion, bad for your health. Only way to stop this stuff, you know, getting a good quality Faraday cage, you know, mission darkness. Going back to a dumb phone, uh, yanking the, the literally the battery out. Um, and they're doing away with that, with you know, newer phones, you can't pull the battery out. Again, they want it to be on 24-7, Google spying on what the F you're doing constantly. You know, pinging, 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 you know. Never-ending surveillance and tracking system, tracking device. That's what a cell phone is. So, that's my main point. Those are some of my points on, on cell phones and the health risk. It's terrible. It's bad for you. Uh, people do sleep with it. Next to their heads, uh, wish people were a little bit more uh, wise to that, more aware of the health risks of doing that, but some people cannot be helped, and they believe the lies authorities promulgate about, you know, it being safe. Nonsense. You know, call it non-ionizing radiation. You know, have no effects on your body, or your hormones, or... You know, your uh, cancer promulgation and, you know, the effects of suppressing your immune system. All these things. Yeah. See the links in the description. Uh, but, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on 5G cell phones and, you know, kind of the purposes behind that. Why it's, uh, you know, this, this idea of it being totally safe, how it's so widely proliferated. Uh, part of society, I think, is just the next step to, you know, actually putting things in into your body, which they've already done. But you know what? Intervention—that's a whole other issue. I've made other uh, videos on that, but love to hear your thoughts on 5G and cell phones. In my view, I would stay away from it. I'm gonna go back to a flip phone. Uh, Even though it's convenient, it's not good for your health, in my view. Uh, I think 
part of the protocol is there's uh, several anti-cancer uh, physicians. Jed Griffin, one of the things he, I think he lists in his book, Ways Not to Have Cancer, it is stay away from cell phones, keep it away from your body. Um, use a Faraday cage, keep it far away from you, if not several, you know, rooms away. So people are doing the very opposite. 24-7. Yeah, let me hear your thoughts. Cell phones, 5G, health effects. It's bad for you. It's like smoking. <laughs>